faith seems weak, don't quit. Remember, it's not over yet. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8, 9, and 13. We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. And since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed and therefore I spoke. We also believe and therefore speak. Paul is talking about his ministry and how in his ministry he faces all kinds of hardships. He says, you know, there are moments when we feel like we are pressed in on every side. We feel crushed. Uh, we feel uh, persecuted. We are persecuted. Sometimes we feel like we are knocked down. We are struck down. But in all of these situations, when we seem to be at our weakest, Paul continues in that passage saying, look, we have the same spirit of faith. That means we have the same kind of faith that men of old have had, that people of old whose, whose witnesses we can see in the, in the Old Testament scriptures, we have that same spirit of faith. And what does that spirit of faith say? I believed and therefore I spoke. That means what I declare, what I confess, what I am saying about who my God is does not change because of what I'm going through. I believe, therefore I have spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. That means what we are saying about the Lord does not change. We continue saying the same thing, even though we feel like we have been knocked down, even though we are hard pressed on every side, even though we are perplexed or we are perplexed or we are persecuted. None of that is going to change our spirit of faith. None of that is going to change what we are saying about who our God is, what He has spoken, what He has said. Now we can take that and apply that to our lives and our journey of faith. And in fact, we apply it to every situation and every area of life. We also have that same spirit of faith. That means whatever I'm going through, no matter how bad the situation may be, the spirit of faith that we have is, I believed Therefore, I spoke. I speak according to what I believe. And what do we believe? We believe the Word of God. We believe who our God is. We believe what God can do in our situation. We are not, not, our believing is not dictated by the circumstance or by the situation. Our believing is dictated by what, who God is and what He has spoken. We believe. Therefore, we speak. We believe God is provider. We believe. God is more than able. We believe our God is healer. We believe our God will open doors where there is no door, or it will make a way where there is, doesn't seem to be a way. We believe God can touch and change and intervene. So we speak according to that. When your faith seems weak, remember this. Don't quit. The game's not over yet. The battle's not over yet. You have that same spirit of faith. Maintain that same spirit of faith. You believe, therefore you speak. Say who your God is. Say what He's promised, even when you feel your faith is weak. Let's pray. Lord, we ask that you'll help us to maintain that same spirit of faith that says, I believed and therefore I have spoken. And we also believe and therefore we speak of who you are and what you said what you promised. Help us to maintain that same spirit of faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.